Hello, this is Hyrula. I'm going to be talking about verbal communication. Verbal communication is what means it is what is communicated through words, written or spoken. For example, uh, for verbal communication includes speaking, listen, listening, writing and also reading. First is uh, spoken communication or oral communication. It is including face-to-face -face, uh, speech, telephone, video, radio, and television, and others. This is influenced by pitch, speed, volume, and the clarity of the speaker. So how can we improve our oral communication? So, uh, there are a few things that we, uh, we need to be reminded of, such as the speed, the clarity, the pronunciation, familiarity, punctuation, fluency, expressions, and also the content. Uh, firstly is the speed. Uh, speed is how much words we speak uh, per minute. Uh, for example, the rate of speech in words per minute from slow to fast with normal rate averaging from 135 words per minute. Uh, slowing down on rate of speech is the first step towards better speed since if we are talking uh, very quickly our listener may not understand what we are speaking or may not catch up catch up to us uh, and they will not get the meaning of our words or our sentences for clarity is uh, the audible uh, make sure that when speaking it is audible and also free of distortion um, our speech should be loud enough to carry to all the listeners just the ac acoustics of the room voice clarity can be mastered with le regular practice voice clarity means that the word uh, the words we are saying are really good are uh, really uh, are really good why should we, why would we need to speak be loud since uh, if we are talking in a loud area or having a large crowd of listeners we need to be loud so that they can listen or they can hear what we are speaking and also clarity if you are talking to too slow or too quiet um, so they may not they may not uh, they may not understand or listen to our speech Next is pronunciation. Pronunciation is the utterance of speech. Always remember that English is not phonetic, which means that some of the words may sound exactly as the previous words, but it may give a different expression. That means that we do not always say a word the same way that you spelled it. Use a good dictionary or work with your trainer to correct pronunciation. Um, how I practice this is that I always listen to videos uh, such as YouTube. YouTube is a good source of content which we could listen and practice our speech. Since we are listening to um, mostly uh, English speakers, then we can listen to how they speak and practice how they pronounce uh, a certain words. For example, no. Um, it can be the words N-O or K-N-O-W. Since it may sound the same, but if you use it in a sentence, it might uh, it might uh, relay it differently. For um, saying is that no one is speaking, and then know that know your place. Uh, this is two different words, but they sound uh, uh, a bit similar when pronounced. Next is the punctuations. Punctuation is like using the various class of various kinds of pauses. For example, you should stop when when you are you, when you are ending a sentence, which is at the full stops, so that people know that the sentence you are speaking or the uh, a sentence you are speaking have come to a stop, and then you are going to continue with another sentence, and also commas. So when when pausing at commas, you should not really stop, like really stop, but stop uh, a pause, uh, pause, but not really stop like that. 
um, and then uh, pausing at a question marks can something can you do me a favor uh, for example if you are stopping there and then you are implying that the other person will answer you uh, next is the familiarity familiarity is the acquaintance with word use um, for example you are using words um, that you are not familiar with and then you if you are using the words and then um, you're not exactly sure of what this the words mean um, you might uh, deliver the wrong meaning to the person you are saying it to and also learning new words is not really bad uh, it's really good it's really good for you since um, learning new words means the vocabulary you are voca vocabulary vocabulary that you are using are going to be much wider yeah, and then using known words in new context. Uh, for example, you are using the word um, uh, using the word lie, L-I-E. Um, lie could could mean to like lay down on a bed or a sofa, and also um, uh, showing that the person you are you are speaking to is uh, referring to is lying to you or speaking or having a false statement and then next lastly is uh, understanding context and situation before reading again uh, lastly is uh, next is fluency fluency is able to express easily developing developing fluency is a matter of having all other parameters in the place fluency indicates that uh, comfortable working ability with the language has been est established for example I am a Malaysian. I'm speaking Malay in, uh, as a daily language, so I'm quite sure that I'm fluent with it. So when I'm speaking with the in Malay, um, other people will understand me, and that they would not misunderstood the words that I'm speaking.